Hello. So you're probably wondering who is this handsome young feller who I'm looking at. Well, his name happens to be Walter Whitman, better known yet as Walt Whitman. He was born May 31st, 1819 and passed away March 26th, 1892. Whitman was the father of American poetry. He loved his country with a passion, so when the Civil War broke out, Whitman started to write American literature. He was a journalist, poet, and an essayist. Some of the most famous poems that Whitman wrote were A Sight in Camp, In the Daybreak Gray and Dim, O Captain My Captain, and Beat Beat Drum. Curious I halt and silent stand, then with light fingers I from the face of the nearest, the first just lift the blanket. Who are you, elderly man, so gaunt and grim, with well-grayed hair and flesh all sunken about the eyes? Who are you, my dear comrade? Then to the second I step, and who are you, my child and darling? Who are you, sweet boy, with cheeks yet blooming? Then to the third, a face, nor child, nor old, very calm as of beautiful yellow-white ivory. Young man, I think I know you. I think this face is the face of the Christ himself, dead and divine and brother of all, and here again he lies. Walt Whitman wrote this poem in free verse throughout the four stanzas. This event took place during the American Civil War in a war camp. He woke up in the cold morning to see three dead bodies under blankets. The first was an old man, representing that the war killed the old elder. The second was a young boy, maybe a child, representing that the war kills the young and their futures and dreams. The third was a middle-aged man, not young, not old, which represents the war killing those who are at the peak of their lives and abilities. O oh, Captain, my Captain O oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack, the prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells are here, the people are all exulting. While follow eyes the steady needle, the vessel grim and dare. But oh heart, 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 oh the bleeding drops of red, where on the deck my captain lies, fallen cold and dead. Oh captain, my captain, rise up and hear the bells. Rise up for you the flag is flung. For you, the buggle trills. For you, bouquets and ribboned wreaths. For you, the shores are crowded. For you, they call the swaying mass, their eager faces turning. Dear captain, dear father, this arm beneath your head, it is some dream that on the deck you've fallen cold and dead. My captain does not answer. His lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm. He has no pulse, nor will. The ship is anchored safe and sound. Its voyage closed and done. From fearful trip, the victor ship comes in with object one. Exult, O shores, and ring, O bells. But I with mournful tread walk the deck. My captain lies, fallen cold and dead. Whitman wrote, O Captain, My Captain, in three stanzas. Abraham Lincoln symbolized as their captain, and the United States symbolized as their battleship. The first stanza describes the happiness the country felt when the war was finally over. Although their ships were wrecked, their soldiers were killed, and their captain was dead. The second stanza describes the celebrations of the country after the loss of their 16th president, Abraham Lincoln. The third stanza describes Abraham Lincoln's death and how Whitman imagined his dead body. Each stanza ends with fallen cold and dead to emphasize the fact that their beloved president has passed away. Beat beat drums. Beat beat drums blow. Wiggles blow. Through the windows, through the doors, burst like a ruthless force into the solemn church and scatter the con congregation into the school where the scholars study. Leave not the bridge room quiet, no happiness must be have now with his bride, nor the peaceful farmer any peace, plowing his field or gathering his grain. So fierce you rear, and pound your drum, so shrill, 
So shrill you bugles blow. Beat, beat, drums, blow, bugles, blow. Over the traffic of cities, over the rumble of wheels in the streets. Are beds prepared for sleepers at night in the house? No sleepers must sleep in those beds. No bargainers bargain by day. No brokers or speculators. Would they continue? Would the talkers be talking? Would the singer attempt to sing? Would the lawyer rise in court to state his case before the judge? The rattle quicker, heavier drums. He buckles wilder blow. Beat, beat, drums, blow, buckles, blow. Make no parley. Stop for no explosion. Mind not, timid. Mind not the weeper of prayer. Mind not the old man beaching the young man. Let not the child's voice be heard, nor the woman's interities. Make even the trestles to shake the dead, where they lie awaiting the hairs. So strong you thump, or terrible drums, so loud you bugles blow.